Hey guys, it's Pissant here along with my good friend, Not a Burger. And we are finishing up the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on NES. This is the last level. This is a Technodrome. This is Hopefully. what it's all about. Hopefully finishing it up. Right. Hopefully. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do it. You're going to do it, not me. You will be doing it. Well, I will be sitting here as usual, commenting on your playing and drinking beer, providing moral support. Correct, correct. Berating me. Yeah. Well, you need to know when you make mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> but, yes, this is the last level, and you guys, thanks for staying with us. It's been a blast, and I could see us doing some more things in the future, turtle-related. So, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get this thing started, and this is the Technodrome. Alright, enjoy! A Technodrome time, huh? Yeah, for the 6,000th time. <laughs> See, what I really like about this is that you've really been using uh, Mikey a lot, which uh, for most of this uh, level attempts, we've been uh, you know, really utilizing him more than any other turtle. Uh, him switching between him and Donnie, actually, but uh, it turns out, in the end, Mikey was one of the most useful turtles. <laughs> and I say that because at the end of the game, uh, this is where it counts, you know? Well, it's because he has the most life, because I refuse to use him so much throughout <laughs> the rest of the game, I think. But, uh, but no, the, I mean, the, this level isn't really as... I mean, it's a bad level. It's a hard level. But, it, I mean, it's very doable. Just like The only downside I see to it is that, you know, the other levels, because uh, they're so early in the game, you play them so many times as a kid, this one, you know, it just took just a little bit of practice for me to get up to, to this level of play, I should say. But... It's very doable, guys. Don't get discouraged. Yeah, I mean, it, it seems like you're uh, you're going to be making it the entire way. Uh, after all of this, uh, i, I got to tell you guys, it's been a long haul for just this one level, trying to figure out everything. But, uh, you know, I still think, I still think there's a couple of really unfair parts in this level, as probably like right here is a pretty good one. Uh, if you can kill this kangaroo, that'd be nice. But, like, right here, this jump, like, yeah, sucks. And then if that you make sucks. it, that other jump right there, and then you gotta fall down that thing with the spikes, and, and then this you got... fucking shit there, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, I, that's retarded. Yeah. And there's a lot of uh, dead ends, like, down there, down those stairs is a dead end. Uh, well, there's, there's a couple other spots around the level, but... As you know, radar is broken, so you are lost. Yeah. Uh, Splinter and April give you their support, but... You know, yeah. And, uh, well, pretty much the game plan for this level is pretty simple. You just conserve all life until you get to this bad shit crazy corridor at the end, where they put. I mean, it's harder than Shredder by a mile. <laughs> so you yeah, just need a lot of life just to lose. It's almost like the dam and the uh, the seaweed part of the level. It's just like you know you're gonna lose a lot of life. You just need to have enough life to lose. That's it. Yeah, and that's why I say those boomerangs. I mean, it, it it sounded crazy at first. Like the boomerangs to me really aren't that useful of a sub weapon, usually in the game. But uh, you know, here is where they really shine, and we're gonna see here in a minute what we're talking about on that. But I really can't think of another way that you would do that like effectively uh, without them totally screwing up your entire world. Yeah. Well, I, I, I guess we should kind of speak to uh, what we're doing here. This is a little different than the uh, the other recordings we've done. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah, we instead of actually doing the recording while I was playing it, we decided to record after the fact. And uh, there's a couple things that factored into that. Mostly, this level takes a lot of focus. <laughs> it's one of the pieces. <laughs> and uh, and I ended up having to do it at a you know silly, ungodly hour. But... Uh, you know, we got through it, so we figured probably the best thing to do is go to go ahead and uh, and just record our audio afterwards. We'll say that we did uh, beat it before, but uh, we had to use save states. And that's kind of cheating. So <laughs> we just wanted. Like I, I mentioned that in the uh, thread is like this is this is your engineer coming out, and if it's not you know legit and perfect, people die. Well, <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah, no turtle left behind, right? <laughs> and. I mean, it, I just wanted to show, even to myself, that, it, you know, it's very doable. I knew it was doable. You, I mean, you got to have a whole bunch of stuff go your way. Like, these guys right here, they can't decide. They just want to fly at you. And uh, so there's a little bit of randomization going on in here. But uh, you stick with it enough, you got enough continues, it's very doable to do. So. 
You just gotta be patient, too. As a kid, I don't know if I would have ever figured this. That hallway in particular, that is the Technodrome as far as I'm concerned. Like, the rest of it is, like you say, doable, but that hallway is just sadistic. Yeah. Well, you'll see and how... One you'll, more for good measure. Yeah, right. Well, you'll see how easy uh, Shredder is in comparison, so... He's a cakewalk, actually. I want to so, oh. switch to Donnie. Yeah. <laughs> Always switch to Donnie. Got to keep him. Got to keep him alive for this. I don't know if it would be doable without Donnie. So here we go, man. Shredder, you're about to whoop his ass. Yeah. So he's notice I've hit him twice and no life came off. Third time he has half a block. So I think they give him a little bit of a buffer here because as you'll see in a second, next time I hit him, takes off a whole block and then whole block. So to discourage you. And also, I might add that you are a red ninja turtle now, or you're Raphael with a bow. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of odd. So, Kind of like the comic book style on the cover of the of the game, right? Maybe that was purpose, you know? I don't know, but... And then you look at this. Oh, af yeah. Af after spending all this time working on it, this happens to me. I have no idea what happened here, but... It... It... Uh... <laughs> that is a pretty good glitch. I, you know how super pissed I would be because you know what that means. That means you reset the game. You can't die. <laughs> yeah, you. There's no time limit in this. So yeah. you spent, you know, as a kid, you kept the game on when you went to school. Get home, pick it up. You get here, that happens to you. What that the it, fuck? That's I what, would be so mad. That's why there's so many broken Nintendos in this world. <laughs> for the shit like this. <laughs> the, the controller throws. I, I'm fairly certain that is like brain aneurysm right there like yeah. something would happen bad like that seriously that is the last level you beat the boss but you can't see the ending because the game just glitched on you <laughs> well so that's ninja turtles um it's been a lot of fun doing this you know this is my first let's play um i want to say thanks pissant jesse hey. for introducing me to this hopefully there'll be many more of these to come uh <coughs> maybe maybe we'll turtles too. <coughs> maybe, maybe we'll let Jesse play next time. I mean, yeah. pissant. <laughs> God, it's not this stupid game. I'll, I'll play the Mame Arcade. I'll actually oh. play any other game on Earth, but this one. This one is just so masochistic. <laughs> but it was it was still a lot of fun. It was still a lot of fun. We want to show you it could be done. It could be done. It wasn't that bad? Um, I'm confident that we could do this again and again and again. So it's a lot. Of, when you break it down into pieces, it's actually not that bad. But anyway, so we've got a little treat for you, Jesse. You want to tell him? Yeah, we're going to uh, we're going to actually show you Shredder dying, <laughs> and uh, instead of him just glitching out. So this is a uh, pretty fun to see, but it's not very satisfying. So we're going to go ahead and show the actual first attempt, or not the first. Well, yeah, I guess it is a first attempt, and then second, and then the actual <laughs> killing of Shredder. So oh no, I cut all that out. We're just going to show him the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, then we're going to show you the good stuff. So as, I, as uh, David was saying before, thanks very much for watching and being patient with us. And uh, we'll probably be doing some more turtle action coming up. And, hey, what you didn't see in this video, I have to say, is I had actual real live turtle trivia, not ninja turtle trivia, like tortoise and turtle trivia. <laughs> God and damn it, Jesse. <laughs> it was all cut out. So, oh. yeah, so yeah, look that forward was... to that in the next video, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyway. Cowabunga! <laughs> 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 All right, en enjoy. <laughs> See you guys. No, you're here now. You're here, man. I, I think it's pretty fair. I think this is pretty fair because uh, he gets knocked back like me. You know, that's kind of nice. For once. Oh my god. Oh my god. You got this, David. Shredder can't. He ain't got shit on you, man. You're fucking his world. Oh my god. Did you just beat Ninja Turtles, David? Not a bird. I didn't even just... get hit. I didn't even get hit. Me, me and my red Donatello. My comic book style Donatello. <laughs> Guys, just beat it. I think that everyone should yeah. kind of just stop here and listen to the words let's of just, Master Splinter. Let's just enjoy the... What the Did heck you... happened to Sh Splinter, though? He's... He's turning back to human form because you what? murdered Shredder. You have excelled my skills? Oh yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. What happened to April? She <laughs> aged quite a bit here. Oh. You guys are great. Thanks for your help. Let's celebrate with pizza. Is concluded. 
<laughs> Must congratulate you, uh, not a burger, for your world-saving Nintendo skills. That's it? I can't believe. It. Yeah, that's it. That's uh. That's... No, no. You know what I always hate? Games that don't say thanks for playing. That's why I love like Nintendo brand games. They always say thanks for playing. It's kind of insulting. Yeah, this game I'll never touch in, again in my entire life, I'm fairly certain. Oh, okay. Oh, shit, I wasn't recording. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs>